So today, guys, we are going to discuss how women test men and how to beat them. Please do not fail this test and do not fall a victim because this will determine if she is going to respect you or not. The reason why most women never respect some men. So let's go. Number one, the loyalty test. They will try to test you if you will be loyal to them in all areas. By so doing, they want you to tell them yes, yes, yes. They want to test you if you are the yes man. If you are willing to do all their biddings, if you are willing to please them against yourself, the yes man, I need this, yes, I need that, yes, okay, yes, okay, my guy, do not fall for that. Because if they notice that you are the yes man, you cannot even refuse anything. You will always accept these women will take advantage of you. I know of some women, they will intentionally demand for something they don't need. To see if he will always say yes, yes. Maybe they will tell you, can you help me drop my friend? You are going to walk. You are in a haste to walk. And the direction of their friend is somehow very far. You are not even taking the same road. The road to their house or to wherever they are going to is way different from where you walk. She knows this. She will go on and ask you. To see if you will do that extra stress, inconvenience yourself just to make her happy. Many nice guys, they fail this test. They are willing to inconvenience themselves. They are willing to pick up their friend, go to any direction, any location before going back to work. Even if they are going to get there very late. They put these women above them. They make these women their priority. And if a woman knows that, you can never say no. They are going to take advantage of you. See, let me tell you guys. There are some women. They specifically want a man who has a stand, who has a choice. Don't think if you are saying, yes, yes, you do everything, follow here, yeah, you follow, do this for me, you do that. Don't think they are going to like you and because of this, they are going to marry you. Most women, 90% of women, they want men that have an option, that know what they want. And this same woman that you are saying, yes, 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 you are so loyal to her, you can't tell her no. This same woman will still cheat on you or leave you to a more disciplined man of high value. A man that can tell her no. A man that can even make decision for her. A man that will not be a puppet to her because women will never respect or even want to marry men who are puppets. They are willing to use you to their advantage. Don't be. So have a boundary. For example, you meet up with a girl in a bar or in a restaurant. You want to talk to her. She tells you, you have to buy me a drink. Buy me a drink if you want to have a conversation with me. Buy me a drink and buy my friends drink. Are you going to fall for that? If I were you, I would tell her, why don't you start by buying a drink? I promise, I will be the one to buy next. Let her invest first before you do any other thing. Don't just do it to please her. Another form of test, most women test men. They want to test your confidence. If you know your worth, if you have a self-esteem. Some girls will tell you, you are not my type. Please leave me alone, you are not my type. Why some guys will get so angry? You are stupid. You are not all right. Who do you think you are? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? What I have? I have this. I have that. I have that. You are stupid. You don't have respect. How dare you tell me that I'm not your type? Who the hell are you? Who do you think you are? When you are talking like this, you are failed the test. You are bringing yourself down. You are now talking like a gutter man. Maybe that woman does not mean what you are saying. So what is your type? She might tell you, you are too dark. I prefer a light skinned guy. True a joke. Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem, no problem. I will go and bleach my skin. I will be so light like Michael Jackson so that you will like me. You will start laughing together. They just want to know how far you react. They just want to know how far you get angry. Make her feel that you are not affected. You know your words. When you know your words, there is nothing anybody would say that would bring you down. That's the truth. You know your what. You know who you are. You know you are the man. 
You are the top of the game. You are the nigger, man. So behave as one. Don't feel bad. Just turn into a joke. Another way most women test men. They want to test your action. The action test. Especially if you are a man, you like to brag. You like to claim to be who you are not. Maybe you have seen this woman. This is the type of man or the kind of man that she would want. You pretend to be who you are not. I have this. I have that. I have this. I can do this. I have 10 houses. I have 10 things. I can do this. I can make this happen. I have millions in my bank accounts. This is not necessary. Be who you are. Don't pretend to be who you are not. Or don't lie. Don't lie to be who you are not just to get a lady. You know that, of course, she would definitely find out. She would find out later that you are lying. When you are talking, talking, bragging, bragging, if you are asked now to show what you are saying, it will be very difficult for you. That's the truth because you don't have them. Except you go on borrowing, renting to show off. It does not worth it. And I know of some rich men who will disguise they will disguise as if they don't have anything to see the women that will love them for who they are. Now you are there pretending, bragging that you have this, you have that. You want to show yourself. You want to impress her. What is she doing to impress you? Are you a cripple guy? You are not a cripple. There are many women who are dying. They are praying day by day. They are going from one program to another. One church program, deliverance program, just to get a man like you. Do not promise what you cannot do. Just because you want to impress her. Maybe she tells you, ah, I like this. Oh, don't worry. The next time, I will get this for you. When that next time comes and you don't fulfill your promises, you look so little. Or you think she will forget. She would never, ever forget. If you are not a man that can keep your words, no woman can respect you. So the best way to win this test is for you not to make promises. Don't say what you cannot do. Don't make promises. Or maybe a woman tells you, ah, I like that new bar. There is a new bar at the town. Ah, that place, things are happening. You promise her, okay, no problem. I will take you there next time. I will take you to a five-star restaurant. That woman is there now, expecting, waiting for that day. And when that day comes, you cannot fulfill your promises. This woman now sees you less of a man. She will not even believe you again. She will not even trust you again. And even if you manage to fulfill your promises by begging, borrowing, or doing all of that, she would not even appreciate it like that because she is expecting it. It is better to do it as a surprise. When you surprise people what they are not expecting, you do it, they would appreciate it more than when you tell them, I will do this, they are already expecting it, they already look forward to it. There is no much excitement. Except she is very appreciative. There are some women who will intentionally test you. Hey, I like this thing. Oh, ah, it's because I don't have money. I like this thing so much. They want to see if you will promise them. Hey, I like this thing so much. Remove your face. Don't just talk. Pretend as if you are not listening. Pretend as if you know they hear her. And if she's old, she tells you, Ah, baby, buy me this. Ah, girl, I don't have money. Period. 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 Make she buy for herself. Make she buy for herself. She want to chop you, girl says. She want to chop you, Mugu. Because you the shame to say no. You are always shy to say no. So even if she tells you, I like this. I like this, you will buy it. What if you tell her you like that? Will she buy for you? Bank account. ATM card. Dollar. Dumb accounts. Money making machine. Go for women who will accept you for who you are. No gold diggers. They are there to lick suits. When it turns bitter, <coughs> fly away. Another, the dominance test. And this is even more important. Do not fail this if you ever want a woman to see you as a man. Many men, they fail this because they are trying to prove they are nice guys. Do not allow a woman to dominate you. There are some women, they will intentionally test you if you will allow them to dominate you, to control you, to push you to wherever they want, to tell you what to do, to boss you around. Guy, never you accept that. They want to be in charge. Maybe you agree on a date at a particular place. When it's time, they tell you, mm -mm, 
I don't want this place. Let's change location. No, I don't want to take this route. Let's take it. Or at times, you agree to meet, maybe on Saturday. And that Saturday, they will call you, Babe, I'm so, so busy. I can't make it on Saturday. Let's make it on Sunday. Let's see on Tuesday, please. She has no right. If she has no time to see you that Saturday, it's fine. But she has no right to choose another day. As if you have nothing to do, you agreed on that date. Now she's telling you that she does not have that time. Let's make it on Monday. Let's make it on Tuesday. Did you tell her that you don't have anything you are doing? Guy, even if Seth say you don't get what you did do, sleep. Go down your knees and pray to God. Every human being is busy. Don't let a woman feel that she can boss you around. It is always a choice. I don't want this. Let's do this. I don't want that. Let's do this. She's making decision concerning the both of you. You are not a robot, Oga. Have you say. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you have learned a lot from this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share this with your friends. God bless you. Don't fall for their time.